Koto katoi roto i tēnei ata. Palma mai number four. So, again, dealing with trauma, and this time, dealing with hurt feelings, dealing with uh, historic trauma. And you'll see in the news this week, um, there's uh, a move to change the name of Maxwell, the village, to its original name of Pākaraka. And so that's that's to do with historic trauma. And so when when a group of people, in this case Māori, um, have been uh, <coughs> uh, been through historic ac- events that result in trauma and hurt, like a war. Uh, it's about how do we um, deal with these issues to uh, ensure that we can let them go and um, move on. In this case, with Pakaraka, it's a bit different because. Um, then there's continual reminders like the names of all the people that killed our tupuna are then ingrained in the land forever. And this move of Pākaraka is about changing that. So you have to identify what the issue is first. Once you've identified it, you have to treat it like a funeral, like a tangi. And have your, have your, have your cry, cry your river like I've been saying. Uh, but then more importantly, uh, move to the next process of uh, recognizing it as a knot in your puku, which you have to massage out through um, both tears and then also using waiata and then haka or ngeri, because uh, then that, um, that gets the energy out, and then um, finally karakia, and whichever atua you pray to, uh, being uh, intentional about your karakia so that you can let that knot release and go. Uh, so as I said, waiata, haka, karakia. Because uh, those things will help you um, penetrate vibration. And as you pen- penetrate vibration, or use vibration to penetrate, uh, that will help unleash uh, or release um, the knots uh, in your historic memory. Uh, and also, you know, just when you get pardon my when somebody shits on you and get ah, oh, da 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 da, um, you know, you've got to let go of that as soon as you can so that it doesn't become a knot. Uh, and and can't overemphasize the importance of karakia. Haka and Waiata to help you release those knots in your puku. Uh, and plus, life's too short. Life's too short, uh, and uh, too many people are, are lost um, too soon. And a lot of that is us um, not being able to release different forms of trauma. Classic example, I know I'm going a bit long today, uh, is. Uh, I'd realised I had had an issue with academia for years and it wasn't until recently in being part of some wānana that, oh, okay, that's been my issue. And so I was able to release that through, um, in my case it was waiata and karakia that helped me through it. Uh, And uh, yeah, I love to sing uh, because it, it just feeds my soul. So however... You work, feed your soul, feed your puku to release um, the knots uh, that are uh, taking you down, that are inhibiting you to um, <coughs> to thrive and be um, be prosperous. Ora, thrive and prosperous. Ora, katiake, emihana kakoto. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you uh, later on. Kia ora tato, on Monday. <laughs>